Hello and welcome to this new session of Atos Smart Tutorials. I'm Daniele and today I will guide you through a basic introduction of Atos softwares. This tutorial applies to all the softwares, but I will use as example the ESW setup applied to a servo proportional directional valve. If you don't know how to download the software and their different types or how to connect your valve, watch first the related video on our channel. And now let's start. So this is how the software homepage looks like when you are first connected to the valve. This is also confirmed by the online indication here below on the left. The software is divided into different sections. First, in the bottom left area, we have the component menu information, where we can see all the relevant informations related to the component, like the code, the driver code or the serial number. And a little bit below, we have all the controls related to the memory uh, saving settings of the valve how to set the settings on the valve itself or onto the computer. Then we move to the top area, the Reduce Diagnostic Panel. Here we can access the main information related to the component, more specifically the driver status, in this case active, and the stored alarms, the alarms history, where we can check up to 20 different alarms in the driver. Very useful uh, in case we need to check what happened in the valve. Here on the left, instead, we have the main parameters related to the driver, like the set point, the daemon, and the actual values. If instead we need a more in-depth diagnostic, we can go into the extended diagnostic page. Here, more detailed information are available, in case a more advanced analysis is required. Now we move to the left, where we have the navigation menu. Here we can first check the component data going here, where we will find all the important uh, information related to the driver. Then we can go into the settings. This is the real heart of the software, where we can access the different uh, controls for the parameterization of our valve. Then, going back here, we can access the uh, software configuration panel, where we can change uh, the graphic interface, for example, the units of measurement or the language, or we can access uh, the information related to the communication. Then we can access the documentation here, where we can see all the important documents related to the specific component, or we can go in the support page uh, to ask for a direct support session to our electronics department. Lastly, in the top part, we can access the valve oscilloscope, if it is available for the specific driver. I invite you in this case to watch the related video on our channel for a detailed description of its functioning. We go back now to the home page where we can access the central part of the software. Here we have our block diagrams, which is the easiest way to access the different functions for the valve parametrization. The block diagram changes from valve to valve, but the basic concept is always the same. We start with a set point, a reference analog signal in this case, and we get through a series of functional blocks that transform this signal into a demand to the coils. In case we have a transducer, like in this case, we also have a feedback, an actual value, and a PID controller. So, of course, each of these blocks has a specific features that I invite you to check through the dedicated video on our channel. Before concluding, a couple of words about the software levels. By default, the software is accessed at level 2, already with big possibilities in terms of diagnostics and parametrization. In case a deeper parametrization is necessary, password for level 3 can be unlocked, after following a specific technical training or after contacting Atos Technical Sales Department. As you can see, we have now access to level 3. So, this first ever view is now over. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Atos Smart Tutorial. Bye bye!